Good afternoon folks and uh, welcome and uh, thank you for joining me if you are indeed joining me. If you haven't subscribed, if you haven't subscribed, uh, think about subscribing. Uh, if you don't think about subscribing then don't bother, but yeah. Anyway, today... <coughs> Pardon me, a bit of frog in my throat there. Right, today what we're going to do, we've got two portable record players. These have come in from a lovely lady to be serviced. And this one is a radiogram, portable radiogram basically. It's a solid state uh, radio phonograph, it's, ja it's Japanese. Uh, the owner thought it might have been Italian, it's not, it's Japanese. Made in Japan, that answers that question. Um, and we'll put the power supply, we'll put the clip, we'll clip into the right portion of the power supply. Do that now so we don't make a mistake. And clip on to the, because it's six volts, but... We'll get away with using five. Oh, pardon me. We'll get away with using five volts out of the power supply. Right, anyway. Uh, basically, let's have a look at this one. And I don't like brittle, I don't like brickle plastic. There we go. Lift the lid off. Be very careful with that. We'll find a new sponge. Yeah. No, we won't. We'll leave it. It's alright. Thought it had gone funny. It's alright. Well, basically. Uh, ba ba basically, this is uh, quite... Uh, this is quite a quite a simple one. It's uh, a little, be a little, be, be a little. Uh, yeah. Uh, how many batteries does it run off? Make sure we are put the correct ones in. It runs off four 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 D cells. So four D cells that equates to that equates to and guess what now I just found him hid away in there a power cable now is this a one two what is this Two forty volts, so we don't have to power. So we can actually, so we can actually power this one. So we can we can actually power this one. It says two forty volts on the label, so. There we go, shaver plug. There we are. So what we'll do... Uh, that's nice isn't it? We can... You know, we can, we can service this one nicely. And there's plenty of torque in the turntable. So what we'll do, we'll first check the speed. We'll go on to RPM and see what kind of speed we're doing. I wonder if she knew it could run on the mains. So what we'll do, we'll put that Ah, it's gone off. 
Hey. RPM, there we go. 45. Hey folks, we're actually bang on speed. Let's see what the figures tell us. Let's start that. That's actually not bad. That's 45 RPM. And it stayed at 45. That's quite good. It's now measuring it. That's actually quite consistent to be honest. That's not bad. <clears throat> about the same as my Japanese. Uh, about the same as my Panasonic briefcase player. Right, so what we'll do first, before we uh, even go anywhere else, uh, uh, we want to go to... That's the tuner. Let's check the radio works. It is an AM radio on this. I'd like a neutral position for that. Yeah, I'm not happy with the fact that there's going to neutral. Doesn't turn off. So what we'll do, we'll see how well it plays a record. We are going to put a new stylus in it. We've got some. Uh, we've got some BSR TC8s here, so we know we know that it's. missing from there that's supposed to just stand on 
I mean, we're putting a new stylus in anyway. And now that it, when you move the arm back, it stops. So that's slightly out of alignment because... Or unless you... No, you're not meant to put it off the side. Put it there. We'll do something about that sort of stylus is held off. But, but we're putting a new one in anyway. Put it there for now. Right, well that's working. And we, what we'll do, we'll... We'll, we'll give it the once over but yeah that's uh yeah we need to clean that so what we'll do we'll clip that back down to there and that should just lock into there there we go take that off take this off and have a look under here so that's nice and easy to service isn't it pull that off and and that uses uh, that either uses a belt it doesn't use an idler so what does, how does that work? That's weird. Oh, I know what you have to do. Yeah, I know what it does. That rubs, runs on there. Yeah, that's going to be some fun putting that back in, isn't it? I would imagine you'd have to get it like that. imagine there we go I'd imagine to get that in it needs to clean anyway but I would imagine to get that in you have to hold fun putting that back on <coughs> that's it there yeah. that's got plenty of torque on it bad so what we'll do we'll, uh, we'll take that off because it's easier to work with less weight and that'll need a clean that'll need a clean yeah that'll need a clean it's a bit grubby so we could probably do that now and I've got no cotton buds. Uh, just phone the Mildred. No. Uh, cotton buds. Uh, I've got a sponge here. I could use this sponge. That's weird that the way that's done basically just rides on there
Oh, that's clean and lovely, that. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing well. And that's clean. Give this, turn it off, give this a clean. Right, this is the Lulu one we're doing at the moment. We'll do the Fisher Price one, get to that one after, and we'll get this one done and out of the way. And what I'll do now so we don't damage, because we're not going to have to go under there again. So what we'll do, we'll oh, it just locked into play. Oh, I'm gonna not oil the other. <coughs> So I'm going to put it in here. There we go. It's one drop. One drop of oil. That's all we need. That's all you ever need. And what I'll do just before we put that back on. Let me just get that. Where's my sponge? You know, you find a good piece of sponge. It does the job really well. And you fucking lose the cunning thing. Never mind, just use the just use the towel. That's it. That should drop on. She does. Plenty of talk on there. A bit of play there, but it is it's only a kiddie record player at the end of the day. It's, you know, it's... finger there putting these in can be sometimes getting your fingers in yeah go on get in go on ah you fucker there you go oh nearly then slide it in slip it in like that turn it round lift that up and that should lock in there we are perfect let's check our speed we shouldn't have lost any Perhaps. get this in the middle as we can Nope, we're running lovely. Let's check 33. <coughs> 33 is a bit quick, but there again, it's, I don't, I'll accept that. Right. So, I'll accept that. Oh. 
accept that, that's acceptable. Um, next job. So just have a look at it if I can. Push the arm down. Unplug it, and it is actually Phillips screws. We've got none of these stupid screwdriver bits here. It's a Phillips screw. Where well, my fucking Phillips screwdriver fits, so this is not a matter. Make sure I've not got one in there. So that part didn't tidy very well. Mm. Yeah, that's not tight. I mean, I won't do a much tighter when I put it back together, but. Probably won't tighten anymore. But. Turn this round. Yeah, I'll tell you what these little players are good for. Most people would say good for nothing, but that's not true. What these are good for, they're good for when you go record fairs and you can audition the record or you, know, you can try the record. You know, because the way I look at it, if a vendor won't let you try a record, there's a reason for that, so you don't buy the record. Oops. Just came all the way up there. That's it. Right. Right. No, well, she had this service, but what's he actually serviced? You know, she did say she had it serviced by somebody else. So what's he actually done? Let's have a look. See what is actually see what's actually being serviced in this, because there's certain things that <coughs> right. So basically, there's not not really a lot going on in here. You got. Uh, Two output transistors here. You got two outputs here, push pull. Uh, where's the driver? Should be a pre driver knocking about somewhere. There'll be a pre driver knocking about. Uh, so, what we'll do, we'll have a look. <coughs> Right. It's got a fairly substantial speaker. It's one watt eight ohms. Look at this, what I've just seen, folks. You won't believe it. Look at that. Speed regulator board. Straight onto the motor. You've got a speed regulator. I might, I might actually look at that. And uh, write down the components. 
try and make I might I might photograph that and try and reproduce it. All it uses germanium transistors. I'm pretty sure you could put uh silicon ones in. But yeah, that's how about that, eh? This is better than I thought it was. And that there is for your tone arm switch. And that's loose. Because the arm's supposed to be clipped. The arm's clipped. Well, the top's on. But the arm's clipped. But that still moves, so we need to adjust that. This is a tone arm. This is your speed regulator and all that. We're not going to... We're not even going to mess with any of that. Because there's no need. But what a little record player. Um, I'm not happy with the smoothing cap here. It looks a bit domed. It might be okay. But it looks a bit domed. Now what I want to do is look at how the knobs come off. Because I don't think they just pull off. One's got a screw in it. So I think they actually screw and then pull out. Put them there. Yeah, they're like standard transistor radio knobs. How am I going to get the other two out? That's the problem. They're probably the same. Oh, they're fucking on. We're going to get them out. Oh, no, that one doesn't. That one pulls out. It's just that one there. That one pulls off. Yeah. Fuck for that. Yeah, that one pulls out. So that, that's why that one had a cover over it. And this one must pull out as well. Yeah, we got it. Make sure we're at the top, yeah, for putting it back in. There we are. <laughs> so it's just the, just the band selector. Uh, sorry, the tuner. It's just the tuner that has this screw in knob. The screw, the screw that goes in the top. And what we'll do next, we'll take these, move some of my shit from off my bench here. <clears throat> and what we'll do, we'll take. Yeah, I'm not happy with that capacitor. It's, it is domed. Uh, I, I might be able to work on it actually with that actually all attached. I might not even have to fuck about. I mean, okay, now that's good. That Phillips is shit, you know. The other one's somewhere. I'll just use a normal screwdriver. I mean, in all honesty, folks, the, the, oops, the lady who owns this is very, very, very nice. She's lovely to talk to you know and it was the same lady who asked me to get the radio cassette for her uh, but yeah that's yeah we're uh, don't know where the pre-driver oh there's the pre-driver it's got to be that fucker there no mind you it can't be yeah it's got to be Yeah, because we've got how many transistors is it? No, that's a, that's got to be higher. We'll soon find. Oh, we'll find out. Not that it matters. We ain't changing transistors. We're just looking at capacitors. And I think there we are. Look at that. Well, let's have a look at the. Now, given that this is not marked. I'm gonna do one. A, I'm gonna do one at a time, and I'm gonna try and find me sucker. Do you 
go, you can never fucking find. There it is. Bring the cap capacitor kit down. Bring both of them. Because one of them is running low on value. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, I don't like this big splodge here. That's it. Now, so what we'll do... Now, that's... Right, the arrows, I'm going to have to do these and be careful. So the arrows, I'm going to say that the arrows are negative, so I'm going to mark there, just mark each point. Yeah, that's not very good. It wasn't hummy or anything though, there was a bit of a hum, but not much. But uh, I like the way they've designed this, I mean I'm going to have to photograph that speed control board. I'm going to have to look at that more closely, because then I can manufacture it, you see. Because, then, you know, for record players that don't have one. Because I bet that's about, I bet that's better than anything they put in them these days. Because it can always be adapted to work for 9 volts and stuff and 12 volts. So we'll have to look at that. 344.5 and it's 220 and that's well above. And the ESR is not bad. So we want to 22, two, two, uh, two, we want to 222. Yeah, two, yeah 220. We want, we want a 220, a 220, 22, 220, 25, US, uh, 25 volts, we want one at 10 volts. I've just had something go ping. That. Looking at someone looking for a bouncy castle. Right, so 220 UF, 10 volts, these fuckers here, eee, let's see what mine measures up, I mean, I don't expect to be, I expect these to be fairly low ESR, but they, they always seem to be a little bit, you know, about around about the ohm or something, but I can live with an ohm. When you get fucking ten ohms, five, four or five or shit like that. Now let's see where we're at. 208.5. That's fucking high. That's low. And it's 1.68 ESR. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. I mean, where did he get off on selling your capacitors at that fucking high in value? I mean, oops. I mean, we'll just sit we'll, Christ, announcing that, I can wait. Uh, 226, 0 0.52, that one will do. The, I knew there'd be one there. I mean, I'm gonna order some more of these kits because I, I want to get I want to get another one. I want to get a ceramic one actually, 
uh, where, where's my clippers? Make sure I've got my clippers and my solder. I need to order another solder. Steve deals with that for me. I need to put the need to put the word into Steve to put me put me onto another solder. Yeah, negative. Look at that, they just fit lovely those. I'll tell you what folks. You know, it probably won't make it any better, but you know it's you never know, do you? That one there's a that, that, that one there is the same, so and that one there's probably going to be the same as well. So we'll do there's a brown wire on that one as well. So we want to make sure that we remember where the brown wire goes. soldered but we've got that one there let's move that fucking helping hands it's in the way I keep catching myself with the soldering iron on it. Right. Just one side's done. I've got one side that's still. This side didn't quite get. There we are. Test this one. It just make it a bit more. If I do it, it just make it a bit more reliable. You know, because I could service it this week. Next week, a cap could go. That I've checked and it's been all right this week. But you know, next week could be could, could one could fail. And yeah, three oh five or one point one point two. How come we got what's that one there? So two twenty UF. So how come it's fucking smaller than the other two twenty UFs? I looked in the right pot. Yeah, two two twenty UF or it's, it's a twenty five volt one. Tell you what, folks. You know you want. You should get one of these ESR. If you haven't got one already, you should get one of these peak ESR testers. They're fucking brilliant. Yeah, two, two, three. It's the same as the other one. Pretty much exactly the same. Exactly more or less. Yeah, I like it when it's right. And that's where your cartridge is fed in there. The cartridge in this is good. 
So what we'll do next. And when you're putting capacitors in, you want them as low on the board as you can get them. The shorter the wires, the better. That goes for most things, but especially capacitors, because it helps shift the noise. Helps to helps because start getting noise. Move that fucking daft helping hands. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I mean, I'll keep it for a few days. I mean, she said she's not in a rush. And I'll keep it for a few days and use it. Play a few records on it and whatnot. Uh, and this one here is going to be a 22 as well. Well, basically, you know, since I'm in here, I might as well, if I've got the values, I might as well just do it. You know? I mean... This one goes the other way. There we go. That goes that way. So I need to remember that. Because we don't want to put one in the wrong way around. I wonder why the gun doesn't work. And this has got, uh, by the look of that, it's got Toshiba transistors in it. So it's not made out of rubbish. I mean, these grey capacitors, they leave something to be desired. Uh, tossing they're made by. That probably means something completely different in Japan than what it means in here, in the, in the UK. Yeah, 312, 50, 0 0.55, they're all, they're all a bit high, all them 22s have been, all them 222s, two, 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 two twenty-twos have been a bit high, uh, two twenty, yeah, 220s, sorry, they've all been a bit high. But uh, we can actually say that once we've put the new ones in, the unit will work good, hopefully. 226, yeah. And the ESR, and that's only point, fucking barely measuring, point, point 38 or something fucking daft. Right, I uh, and that goes with the that goes that way. Then the motor so don't fall out before you get the chance to attack it with the soldering iron. You'd have thought the last person to service this would have done these, but it didn't. Because she had it serviced. I forget who she said she had it serviced by. But you'd have thought you'd have thought have done this, but it didn't. I mean, I would have done. There's a moth floating around here now. So we've got him there to do, him behind that transistor. Uh, that's probably the oscillator, though that could be the oscillator there, I don't know. I don't know the circuit, but yeah, I think these are push-pull. And I think that's the fucking driver there. I could be wrong even, but let's not get into that now. Let's see where my arrows are. Arrows are 
there, which means this one move that brown wire out of the way is there. The way is what we've done, and then they're done, aren't they? I mean, shit. Like we got it first time on that one. Yep, we did. And that one is. For UF, let's see how much of it we've lost. I don't know what's the voltage of it instead of our fucking. Let's what are these ones? Sixteen volts. I put ten in, didn't I? I have to change those because I thought they were all ten volts. Sixteen volts. Because that one was 10 volts. I thought that I assumed they all were, they're not. Eh, never mind. Uh, ah, there we are. Let's test this one. Well, it's only a 9 volt circuit anyway, so 10 volts is okay. 39, and it should be 33, and it's 1.24 ESR. So we'll put, we'll, we'll do, the closest we get to that, these. Come here, you, don't know. That's gone. The closest we get to that these days. Oh no, we've got 33. Six, 33 and 16 dollars. In! 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 Bloody hell. Uh, uh, so that, that was only one little bit of check it bloody hell that's it yeah so there we are what we got next 31 one or two ESR See if we find one slightly lower. Probably not. Let's see if we can just go for one slightly lower. If not, we'll just whatever this happens to be, as long as it doesn't read higher than that one. Oh, 97 it was, not one. Yay! And 
away. There we are. Let's make sure it was clean. We're on a clean end. Let's try again. Yeah, that'll do. Point two microfarad. Uh, sorry, point two ESR. A nice low one. That'll do. It will certainly do. It's going in. And the... Negative goes to there. So you have to keep... You have to keep your eye on that. Negative to there. Because they're not fucking marked. And I haven't got a manual on this either, so I usually find it on you old stuff like this. You normally find a schematic stuck to it somewhere, but there isn't on this one. that then we've got him down there next to that transistor and him let's move this wire and remember folks any wires you move <coughs> be conscious of the fact and any wires you take off which I might have to take a wire off here to get this fucker unless I can just get it past this orange wire because it's soldered here it's right there I might be able to get onto it but if not I might have to start taking wires off and that's where you have to start remembering I want to be careful around here because solder off there off the board I want to be careful around here because we've got a transistor and this has been proven to be a bit, a bit of a pain not fucking sucking it off come on that's got it so we get the just get the cutters on it to just pull out it's loose Hello? Oh yes. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. See you mate. Bye, bye bye, bye. Right, it's the engineer. So we're gonna have to cut the we might have to cut the video short and do and come back to it because in there by that bottom one on the top I'm getting that wire off there see I'm not going to be able to do it when the engineer is here because he's got to turn the power off let's get a pair of pliers that's undone that I mean Thing moves about, get a pair of pliers. Mm. 
Oh, we're still hooking hooks on from somewhere. It doesn't want to go. What he's going to have to is he will get this fucker done before he gets here. Because he's going to turn all my power off. That's one loose. They both look loose. And well, one leg stayed in. One leg stayed behind. Like I was saying before, folks, better some of that wire there. Set that orange wire off. Can't test that one, so let's see what value it is. It looks like a not point three. It looks like a 0.3. Where well, it fucking is a 0.3. I was looking for that. That's a new stylus and I'll put in here. That's a diamond. Oh, the fucker. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Right. There it is. Three point three point three. Oh, three point three. Three point three UF. I've only got about fifty volts. So Turn it off in a minute because the guy's going to be here. I'll just get this solder in. Get here! Oi! In! Get in! Uh, 
Now I just want to get this last one done before Where's the other fucking the one I can't see? Hold on. Put a clip of wire in there. A bit fucking further down than that. That's it. We don't like that. It's a little bit shorter. That's it. Right. Sort of do that. Right, that's that. Just bring that wire back a bit. Close that print. Sold that on. Put that wire back to where it was. That's it. One here to do, one here, two left to do. That one there, and that one there, and that one there is easier. It's just that fucker there. Right there. Which way is it pointing? I think that's it there. Pretty sure that's it. Because we're right behind the aerial. Wonder if that's the right one. Hope I've not done that fucker there. Yeah, that feels good. Well, that white, that lead there is certainly undone. Yep. Yeah. And the way that was done. That was bent that way, and that's the way it came out, and that's how they can, that's how they fucking confuse you. Because that went that way. should have done should go that way so 
So that's the way it's supposed to go. <clears throat> because it was leg was fucking cocked over the other fucking side. I hate it when they fucking do that. Why not do it properly, folks? You know? Twelve point oh two and it's fifteen ohms, fuck me. That's well gonna be replaced. And what value should it be? Ten microfarads. So it's a bit over. I wanna put ten in it. Well, we've only got a 10. Not 25 volts, it'll do. Get in. Get in. Come on, you. Correctly, the right way. Instead of cocking the fucking leg over, that could fuck, could throw you off balance a bit. But we're right. Well, the electrician hasn't turned up yet. He will. There's about 10 minutes, the electricians at work for stop poor homes are going to say 10 minutes in fucking 20. Uh, I'm not happy with that one, that could be a bit shorter, but the problem is, is getting in. That's it. Now, one more capacitor to do. One more. These discs don't have to be done, they never go wrong. Which way we're we facing for the negative. That way. And it's on here, it's this fucker here. So I'm gonna have to probably take it. Probably going to have to remove that green wire. Yeah. It's loose. Yeah. And that one's been done the same. Same. But I know, I know it goes that way, what's the value? I know it goes that way anyway, I know which way the strike went so it doesn't fucking matter. That's the way I'm putting them in. And what are we on here? 
4.42, 20 ohms, wow! Three point three. Three point three is what we're after. And this going anyway it goes into the selector and then to the motor controller facing that way <coughs> put the leg see that's facing that way but the leg Chalk scraps, so that's facing that way. We we'll just straighten that like that, and then, yeah, it's correct. Yeah, we were correct. We we're all correct. So we'll solder this up, stick the wire back on. Test it. couple of screws in just for testing just put a couple in just for, just so I can power it up to secure may as well put them all in actually
the screwdriver is not very good. Mm. Let's use this one. It's better. Now we've got one more to go in somewhere. We appear to be all in. The one goes down there. Mm, don't think it does. No. So that one. So one, two, three, four came out of there. I'm just looking in case I missed one. Because I have the supposed to be one. You're not going to get that in there. Are you going to get that in there? Oh, the board might have to be shifted over slightly to get that one in there. Because there's another screw, just another screw hole there. But there's no... There's a screw hole there, but there's no fucking screw for it. I mean, there's a screw hole, but... You ain't going to get a screw in there. And the board is back in the right way. So what we'll do now, we'll just whip it over to the way up. That's the tuner. place it doesn't matter probably have to come off again anyway so what we'll do next we'll make sure we've got nothing under there oh we're good see the when the turntable is going because we're on yeah, let's check the radio, put the, put the knob on for the radio, Says, is it pronounced Mond or Monday? Because it ends with an E, so I would say Monday. Right, let's get... Uh, let's get a bit of the... bit of the deoxit, because we've run out of service on Super 10. So... We're having to use the deoxit. Uh, yeah. Oh no, we're alright. We can get to them. In! Get in! Get in! Won't bother you. 
here, mate. He's all right. Come here, you. Right, I'm going to have to go, folks. I shall catch us later. Bye for now. Right. Uh, getting back to this. Uh, the electrician's been. He's done his job. Uh, I think the electric meter's died. It's constantly flashing. So I need to get onto them in a bit. And uh, get that sorted. Uh, so let's have a look at this. Let's zoom in a bit. Um, we're going in a bit there, can't we? Yeah, give you a really good look. There we go. How about that? Now, put the deoxid away because we've just used that. So the deoxid can be put away. Give that back to Steve when he comes because it's his. Uh, I'll do my best not to use it all. Well, I won't because I'm going to have run out of Super 10, so I'm going to order some in a bit. I still want to know where this screw came from. Oh, I know where it might come from. Oh, I know where it come from. Yeah, it came from the case. Right. Yeah, it did it come from the case. Because there's... One goes here. And one goes there. And I've got two screws left. Right, so what we'll do now... There's no strain relief on this. I don't know whether you've noticed. But I've only just spotted this. And look, there's no strain relief on this so what i'm going to do what i'm going to do i'm going to try and because i can't leave that like that not without any strain relief so what i'm going to do i'm going to put that in there and the If I put that in there, see, because you got that shit, what do you call it there? The battery wire. See, what I'll do, I can put that there, you see, and, and that'll just, that'll just give it a bit of strain relief. So that's okay, so we need to adjust the arm as well. Um, so we'll do the arm now. We need to adjust the arm and tighten it up and then pop our new stylus in. So let's have a look at this. Right, well the that's supposed to have a supposed to be a little cap that goes on there, we'll sort some out with that. It's supposed to be that sits on there. And it's supposed to just sit there like that. So if I put that that's too high that arm that's why it's coming down a bit. So what we'll do the arm's too high. So what we'll do we'll push I think there should be something on that because that's not supposed to rub against that so what we'll do we'll
So we're now in the manual for it. See, that's better. See, that's not going to touch now, and it will still go where it needs to go onto a record. And it will sit up there like it's supposed to. So, what we'll do next. Turn that, put that on the on the ledge there. Sure that's disconnected. So goes there. And that's disconnected. So what we'll do now we'll let the arm come up there. And what we'll do next we shall tighten leave that as it is and tighten that. because you, you, you want it like that so that the arm now what I'll do next now what I can do next I can just plug it in and plug it in and just make sure LP. I hadn't thought of that. Might have to be adjusted further. But an LP should fit. It should fit a standard LP. Oh, there's me Judge Dread. Wonder where he'd gone. I mean, because these are designed to play LP, just about, just about fit an LP on it. Make sure there's no drag. Mind you, there's no weight in there anyway. We've got to uh, so we've got to put this rubber grommet back in, which fell out and she found and saved, and that goes. And it's a bit, what do you call it, that will put a bit of something round that, unless it's going the other way. It's a square section round, so 
if it's compressed one way it might work whoops might work the other way so we'll try put in that way that's just sheared in half oh yeah so we can still use it though just sheared in half but we can still use it because just get this other piece out here there we go yeah we can still use that push that into <coughs> if not we'll find some at odd do the job fucking in right wow I mean that should go in there so we're not getting wires sticking out don't have bare wires uh, not bare wires don't wire showing do we and what I'll do I'll put a dab of glue on there later I'm just trying to get under here just pull that down there we are there we go right right yeah that's good enough see that will sit there now and the stylus won't rub along it will slide it will slide off there let's just make sure that we're not gonna I'm happy with that. Put that on there. That's it. Put that back in there. clean as well a bit of a polish mm. so we'll bring that round there and this one that board but it means taking it out and I don't want to disturb anything to be perfectly honest right I'll put that behind there and that's good enough there's nothing goes in there 
So what we'll do next will tighten that up. Tighten that up, they do tighten up. Put that one there ready. Cover on the battery compartment. Flip it back over. There we go. Tell you what. You must have had funny fingers back in the day because that didn't want to come off. Must have had rougher fingers to grip them. Yeah, you can hear the transformer humming away. So it goes, it goes, that goes to about there. No hum now. I think that's supposed to go there. That's better there anyway. Let's check the radio. Terms of say So what we'll do, we'll put the volume control so it's orientated correctly. And then we're done with this one. And I did have a screwdriver, now I can't find it. So can't find the screwdriver. And just use your dinner knife. Right, 
and put this try and line it with a dot if I can that's as much as you can get right let's just try it again right well, well this time we'll have the KTL exerciser because we had the Philly shave twist before and we haven't had the KTL exerciser for ages have we I've not put a new stylus in yet, I'll do that in a minute. Exercise man. Welcoming you to a new you. Because KTEL takes much pleasure in introducing you to the multi-exerciser. The exerciser that's designed to give you the shapely, healthy body that you've been looking for. Now, look at yourself in the mirror. If you want to get rid of that pop belly or spare tire, or maybe just turn up your muscles, then now you really can. Just a few minutes with the exerciser every morning and evening is all you need to do. The KTEL multi-exerciser is a very simple device to use. All you need is a convenient place to attach it, like a door handle that's about waist high. But make sure no one can open the door while you're doing your exercises. Yeah. The room should have plenty of fresh air with a carpet or a rug to lie on. And you can also have a cushion to put under your hips if you need it. Now take advantage of the privacy of home to wear the absolute minimum of clothing so you're not restricted in your exercise. Now, before going on to the exercises, make sure you have read the exerciser instructions carefully so that you'll be familiar with all the movements. Why don't you keep it next to you while exercising for easy reference? Now, are we all ready? Good. Well, let's try a nice, easy exercise to start you off with. This one's called the tummy toner. Now, this exercise is designed to tighten up those slack tummy muscles. First of all, lie on the floor, face up, with your head up near the door. Now put your feet in the straps and take the hand straps above your head. Now you just may have to adjust the straps at this point so that your feet just clear the floor. Okay, are we all ready now? Good. Now keeping your legs and arms straight, pull down on your hand straps and raise your legs. The muscles in your arms and legs and stomach should all of them work together. Raise your legs as high as you can and then lower them to the floor again. Now let's try with a little bit of rhythm this time. Okay, are we all ready now? And away we go. Up, two, three, and down, two, three. Smoothly now. No jokes. And up, two, three, down, two, three. And up, two, three, and down, two, three. continuous exercising you should be able to do at least 100 of these by the end of this week and while you're in that position let's move straight on to the second exercise this one's called the high stepper with your feet and hands still in the straps as they were before bend one knee and bring it up right to your chest and then as you lower it bring the other knee up in a kind of marching action now with this one it's important to flex the leg fully as you lower it and get the knee as close as possible to the chest got the idea right Then lower one leg about 16 to 19 inches. Not to the floor, mind. 
and as you raise it again, lower the other leg the same distance. Repeat this scissor action as fast as you can go. One, two, 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 one, two. Can you feel those lazy muscles working for you? Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything's happening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up. turn this off a minute and we'll we'll look at changing the stylus putting a nice new one in it there we go because this one yeah this one's yeah all he's done there put a tc8 in it and this one here is not a tc8 it's got a blue thing on it and I don't know what the blue thing is for whether it's needed I do not know whether it will fit in the cartridge should looks like there's enough clearance <coughs> would help if the there we go to bend the damn thing, that would help. Got it without fucking bending it there. We're going to bend the back of it up and it'll slide, it just slide in. And that should hold it straight actually. Get that on the actuator perfectly, which it is. And that's what that's for. To locate the stylus absolutely sp would help if we went to, for the screw, not the rivet. Tighten the all right. Well, let's try again now. Make sure we don't bang the stylus. Don't want to fuck up a new stylus, do we? Right, let's give this a wipe. Let's give it a quick, a quick play. I'm not going to play it all. Just make sure it sounds. Hi there. I'm the KTL Exercise Man, welcoming you to a new you. Because KTL takes much pleasure in introducing you to. That sounds horrible. The shapely, healthy body that you have been looking for. Because KTEL takes because KTEL takes Mumsizer. The exerciser was designed to give you the shapely, healthy body that you have been looking for. Now look at yourself in the mirror. If you want to get rid of that pop belly, you're Let's try the other side. Body position on the floor with your head up near the door again. Legs should be outstretched and that sounds horrible. Well, that's why. That's why we moved up a bit. Yeah, we're not quite down. what it is we're not quite in the actual here wow whoa let's 
Let's take this back out again. Thought I'd done. That's right. Bend that slightly uh, back there, so it'll press onto the. Let's turn the volume down. I mean, I can put a TC8 in if I have to, but I'd rather put this one in because I think it's a diamond. Just try that. And here we go. And up two, three, four. Down two, three, four. Up two, three, four. It. just wasn't in place properly so if I just stop that from moving and just that's it Sounds all right now. Didn't a second ago. Let's try the finish shave twist because that's the ultimate one. It's the one I play a lot of. So yeah. And that feels better clipping in as well. 
Yeah, that feels better now. Put the arm down a bit lower. It does feel better. And it plays. Plays lovely now. So what we'll do next, we shall push that back there. There we go. I don't know whether she knows it can be run off the AC, you know, because I don't know, but put that back in here, because that's the cord storage, just behind the, there. Because I wonder what that was, I thought, what the hell is that like, you know, because that's the battery there. And that, that's your cord storage. There we go, folks. Isn't that a nice little stylish thing, eh? You just put batteries in it and take that with you. Yeah, we're all back together, all nice and tight. So, what we'll do next, we'll have a look at the Fisher Price one. <coughs> I don't think there's going to be much we're going to be able to do with this one. But, because. Oh, they've put it together with Phillips screws anyway, which is nice. So I've, I've watched Radio TV phone all up doing battle with one of these. And he had a bit of an issue. So he had an issue getting the screws out. But we won't because they've used... Yeah, they've used Phillips. They've used Phillips in our example. Uh, see, this screwdriver's slightly the wrong one. Get off! Oh, bits of shit stick to your screwdriver. Let's well, see if we get on with this. I might get this one with it. Some, some of them you do. And then there's the odd one, you can't get the damn thing out, no matter what you fucking go at it with. I mean, you just wait for the screw to pop up the top and then you take it out. I mean, this uses a, what do you call it, there's not much I'm going to be able to do about the cartridge in this, because it uses a, it uses a, uh, I think it's a 97T or something, or 87T, uh, an aesthetic cartridge, and she doesn't want me to modify it, because I was going to put her, I was going to modify it to take a replacement, but no, she doesn't want me to, so she made that very clear as well, she wants it leaving. And that's fine. You know. Right. And whatever point is left on that, that, that must be an on-off switch there as well. Is there any way of... <laughs> Let's have a look and see what we've got in here. Right. Put the back bottom there let's get my screwdriver move all our screws out of the way we can put that in there right so what we've got in here we've got a little dc motor which is what we expect the radio tv phone or nuts was an ac one uh, And I think that that is supposed to hit the, yeah, uh, that's supposed to, oh, we've got something that fell out. Where have you come from? Oh, 
Oh, weird. Uh, where's that come from? Didn't come from there, screw all that. Didn't come from there. Turns it on and off there, that switch. I'll worry about that in a minute. That one there is for powering it off an AC supply. Uh, which is what we're going to actually do. But we're going to just power it from connected to the batteries there. I'll work out where that piece goes after. Uh, well, I think it's. That doesn't seem to change the speed when you move it. I want to be careful with that fucking stylus. Five volts we've got going in. That's good enough. sound very good and the speed doesn't change the speed doesn't change so given that the speed doesn't change Ah, it does now. When the circuit board's held in properly, it does. Yeah, it's because the circuit board wasn't in properly. Right, so... The cartridge wire goes down here. Right, so what we need to do is take the circuit board out. Because I need to... Clean the switches. And I'll tell you what. Tell you what, folks. You can't get any cheaper than that. That's as cheap, that's as cheap as they come. That's as cheap as they come. Let's spray a bit of, bit of this in. Can't really get in. There we go. Bit down the speed control. This is, I'm not going to recap this, it ain't worth it, uh, I'm not recap. I'm not messing about recapping this thing, it doesn't need it, wouldn't benefit from it, there's no hums or anything, so, it wouldn't benefit from it, so. There we go. Put this back. 
bronze. Took them out of the way. Took them out of the way. Now this. I need to I need to work out where this fucker goes. It's just this needs to be worked out. It just dropped out, didn't it? And it goes in somewhere. Go in the back. I didn't see it fall out, you see. Don't go in there. I think it went in there. Ah. What if it went in there? See, we don't know. See, but the thing is, we don't know because it's. Didn't come out of there, surely. What we got on the end here? Don't go on there. Goes in here, I'm sure it does. See, that goes on there. That goes on there. The power socket, should you choose to use it, push that in, that goes in there, and then this, ah, no, Gone. 
so let's have a look and put the top on let's put the top on and have a look at here's this part of the top let's put the top on and have a look I hate it when you can't fucking Stops the arm bouncing about as well, actually. Right. That's it, that's the top on. Right. See, the top's supposed to lift off. It can either be lifted up or lifted off. I just think it went in here. I don't. Not sure. You're off there. After I have to look on the net. That's the, the arm there. And that's that switch there. The switch is off at the end of a record. I think it was fairly obvious, wasn't you? I thought it would have gone in there, but... Oh, hang on. Hang on. Cable, quite a cable of fit in there, or that way around. It doesn't go on the side, does it? No. No. That's weird. Because it's the length for that. for that one actually. And it doesn't fucking fit in any of them. The only thing I can think it goes. Don't even go there. Doesn't go there, does it? in that one. So you're supposed to fit in somewhere where there's a groove. I 
and it is out of this, it's fucking... Not there. Not there. This fucker goes. I'm going there. Because it doesn't go. Because that wouldn't be rattling about inside there, surely not. And that doesn't go there. Oh, hang on. No. No. Let's lift the lid off here again. Move that and see how far the arm goes across. Well, the stylus doesn't bang down anyway. Well, see how far it goes across for you, that switch. Gets to the end of the record and it's the switch and trips off. speed selector back in. Just can't tell from here. Yeah. Yeah the speed selector's back in. The lights back where it belongs. Uh, what I want to do, I want to have a look at the cartridge to be honest, so I've seen how this is done. Um, I'm going to pull it out because it's cracking, so I want to find out why. Oops. And basically, you pull them out. probably not going to do it because I don't want to damage the cartridge. What the hell is that up there? What the hell is that up there? I just want to look up here, there's something there. Oh, what is a wire? What is a wire? I mean, we were getting a loose connection before, weren't we? So let's put this, let's put this back in. Put that lid there for a minute. 
It's too early, it ain't being fed yet. Scraps! Let's see how it sounds with a record on. Well, let's see if the speed changes. Does that turn off at the end? Yeah. So it sounds with a record on. Don't know whether this is any good. Whoa! Oh, I think that's because I mean it might be a bit slow because I'm putting only five volts into it so. so what we'll do we'll oh, that's it. so what we'll do we'll Down, does it? Yeah, oh, it could be that. No. Scraps out. You're not being fed yet. <clears throat> Come on, That's it. Forgot about that. Right. So what I want to do next is take. Six volts exactly. See if that's any, any faster. See if that's any faster. Don't look it. Should this be? It should be. Let's just say six volts. Yeah. 
Yeah. Six volts. Six volts it should be. And the motor can't be adjusted. Can the speed be adjusted on the board here? Yes we can. Yes we can. We can adjust the speed to bring it up here. So what we'll do, we'll connect that back to the 5 volts, it won't, because it keeps coming out otherwise. See what they've not done, they've not put they've not put holes in the board. So because they've not put holes in the board you can't adjust the speed. Right. Shut up. So let's pull this out of here. Now I can get to them now. What time is it? It's only quarter past bloody four. So what we'll do, we'll check the speed. Andy! What? Did he come? Yeah. Hey? Yeah, we do me a coffee. And let, let him out and put let him round the back, Christine. Wait a minute. Has he sorted your meter out? Yeah. Oh, you're already ready for some art meter on Monday then? Yeah, I don't think he's fucked my meter up. What do you mean? Fucked my electric meter up, it's flashing. Oh. Anyway, leave it now, don't you go interfering. No, yeah, give us a cut. Yeah, let him out of the back. How do you know he's flashing meter up? Because it's flashing, he didn't smash it, he broke. Probably ready for going in, he's been there 20 odd fucking years. I think that's gone a bit fast. 141. Let's try that now, let's put a record on. We'll set for 33 in a minute. That should be right now. Oh, 
Right, so what we'll do now, we'll go for 33 and we'll set that up. We're on 31, so we're not too bad. Because I did course this day, didn't I? Right. Thirty-three and a third, perfect. That's good enough. And remember the weight of the phone as well. So thirty-three. So that that's that's that set up. So let's turn the power supply off while I'm working on it. Right, the stylus is okay. I'm going to leave it as it is uh, because I can't get one because it's. It's an 80 and a static 89T, I think it is, and they're fucking very expensive. When you find them, they're very, very, very stupidly expensive. You know, you know, we're going into fucking, we're going into double figures. So, we're not. So we're we're going into double figures on the stylus, so we're not putting a new a new one in. Um, yeah, Andy. Yeah, give me a minute, Christine. I don't want to break this. It's not mine. Do you want chippy? Uh, no. Right, I'm going now. Yeah. I don't, I don't want it yet anyway. Do you want it later? Might have it later. Right. I'll tell you what, if you're giving me money now, let him out the back for a piss before I'll you go. Just let him out, Andy. Oh, he's not been out long enough. He's winding. Right, I'll let him out. Just let, let him out the back. Open the back gate and let him run round the back. Have a cup of tea or something, Christine. Fucking hell, it can't be anywhere you've got to go this time of night. Have a cup of tea and a biscuit. The biscuit's in the bedroom. Fucking hell. You're always rushing about, you'll die a young woman. I hope not. Oi. What? Make yourself a brew. And the biscuits are on the bedside cabinet, Christine. That's where I left them. So let me check the speakers, so that's, that's a switch. And I'll tell you what, you know, it was... It doesn't work anyway. Right, the only thing I'm still confused about... You guessed it. The rest of it's done. I mean... The rest of it's done, I mean, we... Oh, get in, get out, get off. There we go. You can look at your meter as well, Randy, your gas meter. No, he didn't have to. He was only the electrician. Right. What, you missed him? No. He was alright, actually. Hey? He was alright. Yeah, he was all right, nice fella. Right, he's in the back gate. Yeah. You let him at the front, he goes round the back and he tries to escape. Yeah. Hey? Yeah. yeah. I've just found out where that come from. Got to sort this bedroom out for you. You know that? What? Sort this bedroom out for you, all the stuff in the bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just doing a video, Christine, yeah. Mm. <laughs> was he alright, was he? Was who alright? The guy, the electrician. Yeah, yeah, he was alright, yeah. Do you want a biscuit? Yeah, just let me take this in. Alright. Uh, fucking hell. 
All right, well, I figured out where this thing goes anyway. <coughs> it's the catch for the handle. And it goes that way up, I believe. I believe it goes that way up. <coughs> and it catches the handle. Just so the handle can't open. Let's tuck these wires back in where they should be. Tuck it and it goes in because. Oh, what? So let's scratch in now. Yeah. Well, see if you see what he's doing. Right, this is the bottom. So that goes like that. So if I put this in and it fits together, then you don't have to fucking. It should just drop to get. Hey? Biscuit. Yeah, give me a second. Just, just let me bring him in. Here. Leave him out for a while, you have your brew. There, there's your biscuits. Well, they end up giving him a biscuit. Yeah, yeah, I know. And he leaves it on my floor because he get the, I'll give him one when he comes in. I'll save one for him. Right, so that goes like that. And if I keep the bottom like that compressed, and they lock in like that, like that locks into the lid. And there should be two corresponding catches. Yeah, there, look. Just catch the lid there. That slides down into there and it catches there and then to open it you just you just push it back like that that's how it opens so that's that's that sorted out that took a bit of a while to work out where that thing went but we got there and we didn't have to use the power of the internet to do it for what we we're going to but we didn't we got there see that's the problem you see when you see when you don't see something fall out I mean, they're collectible, these things. I don't know what they're worth. I don't think they're worth a great deal. But, you know, the longer she has it, they, you know, there's nothing I can do about the cartridge. I'm not going to run the risk of pulling it out. Um, the st stylus is okay. It plays. She's not going to use it that often, if, if at all. So, because she was talking to me, maybe, talking to me about it being just a display piece but uh, you know so I don't think it'll be get used that much uh, I won't be able to clip the power supply to it now uh, because I can't get leads into there to try it I don't need to anyway so I can't get oh yeah I might be able to might be able to clip on we'll see don't know which is fucking which though. Uh, this side. All right, scraps. No need for that. Yeah, bring him in, Christine. Yeah, let him in. He can probably smell the fucking biscuits. All right, right. So basically, I think the red.
Uh, oh, it shows you here. Yeah, I was right. Hang on a minute, I'm just trying to get the wire on here. Yeah, black's this one. But the trouble is, is you can't really get in. Wait a minute, Christine. You're fucking sending him in to mind me. I'm trying to do something. I can't get that in after. I don't want to damage it. So anyway, it is working. It's been serviced. We can we can open the lid. See, because the lid's even designed to be lifted off or left on. You know, you can either lift the lid off or you can leave it on. It depends entirely on you. And that, that, that actually does clip into there because there's your little in there. So that's right. And they're sticking through. And it just drops on like it should. And then it just lifts, you just lift it back and off. Like that. There we are. So that's basically two record players in one video, folks. Sorry we couldn't get a fully shaved twist. That needs cleaning. Uh, well, sorry we couldn't get a fully shaved twist. Yeah, that's... Let's wipe that off there. There we are. Right. Like I say, I'm sorry we couldn't get a fully shaved twist out of both of them. A full run anyway. But, uh, that's two videos in one. That's the Lulu Monday. I'd say Monday because of the way it's got an E at the end. M-O-N-D-E. Monday. Uh um, so th that's basically the pair of them, the, the, the Lulu Monday portable radiogram and the, uh, the Fisher Price, uh, whatever this thing pertains to be, uh, 820, uh, record player. This is from 1983 and this is from the 1960s because it's germanium. So this is from the 60s. And it's Japanese. Uh, the owner thought it might have been Italian, but it's not. Uh, it's Japanese. It even says made on made in Japan on the bottom. I will send the owner a link to the video so she can watch it. And uh, I see that you're on there. Are you going already? Yeah, I've had my tea and biscuits. Uh, you're a cunt. You, you only come for your tea and biscuits. Yeah, I'll give you some money. Fucking well, then I'm being held up. Have you given me biscuits? Do you know something? Five. Don't get me a pet. Uh, don't get me a Coke. Right. How much is it? How much is it without a Coke? I don't know. Coke, I don't it? want a Coke, I've got a Pepsi there. You have another Coke then, won't you? I don't want another one. Right. Five, six, I'll give you six quid. Right. It's got a, it can't come up to more than six quid without a Coke. Right. It can't do. You can get it now. No, I don't want it now. Wait up. I don't want my tea now. I want my, do, get, bring it, go for, go about half five. Is it now, then? Oh fuck me! I don't know. I don't know. I don't own a watch. I'm not rich enough to own a watch. I'll have to take scraps out tonight. No, because the door no, I'll get the leftovers. I'll go at half five then. Yeah, go at half five. It's quarter to. It's quarter. To, it's twenty to five now. Have I got quarter past five? Yeah, that'll do. Yeah.
Mm. Right, folks. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. And to be notified of my content earlier, click the bell next to the subscribe button. And you'll get told so you, you can fuck off fast before I get there. Yeah, so you, you'll get what early warning of uh, you'll be notified of my videos going up. And I'm now going to contact the owner of these who will be very pleased. And uh, 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 yeah, and yeah, I was, uh, yeah, I, 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 you know, I, I was, uh, I've actually done a deal with her uh, on these. Uh, I, I basically have agreed to service these. Uh, she's got a Philips record player there, uh, which uh, she says is a nice one. So uh, she's going to send me some pics in a bit. So I'll probably, you know, I did actually quote her a price. I won't say what it was, but I also, you know, but I think I'll just, I'll, I won't take any money. I don't think I'll just, I'll just have the record player to make me money from that. I think that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, because, well, you know, you know, sometimes it's nice to just get something in exchange rather than money all the time, so I don't need it, so, well, you know, I'm not a rich man, but I can afford to be flexible, and if I can afford to be flexible, everybody can, the way I look at it. Anyway, folks, listen, you all take care. I'm going to contact the owner, let her know it's done. Let her know. Uh, uh, just let her know what she owes and uh, sort it out with her. Thank you very much, folks. You all take care. Remember, clang and subscribe. Ready for my next one. Which I don't know what it will be, but these have been interesting, haven't they? A couple of small battery players, you know. Uh, uh, Fisher, the Fisher Prize one. I mean, that's made to a price. So is this top one. But, you know, they were made to be carried about. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to it, folks. And you all ca I'll catch you all later. Bye for now.